Hey everybody, this is Dave from MParticle. Today I'm going to show you how to create an audience in MParticle using your app data and then send that audience to Twitter in less than three minutes. For the sake of this demo, we will assume that you've already instrumented your app using the MParticle SDK. This is the MParticle event stream where you can see your app data coming into the platform in real time. The point of this screen is to ensure appropriate data capture and data structure before moving on to the next step. Once this is good, we'll go to our segment builder. The MParticle Segment Builder is an extremely powerful and flexible tool for building user segments. We've made it so that any audience that you can articulate, you can easily build. Once built, you can share that segment with marketing platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and several others. For this example, let's create a simple audience of users that have recently installed our app and have made a purchase. First, I'm going to click New Segment. And then I need to choose the app whose user data I want to use to create the segment. I can pick a single app or use data from multiple apps. We'll choose the MP Traveler iOS app in this case. Next, we'll define the segment criteria that we want to use for our audience. Let's select users that have installed the app in the last two days. Then, because we're a travel app, let's select all users that have purchased a flight that originated out of Seattle SeaTac Airport. This is just one example, but I can define criteria from literally any data point I choose to capture. From device info to lifetime value to whichever app engagement metrics matter the most to you and your business. Now let's name our segment and activate it. We'll name the segment New Travelers from SEA. And then we click Activate. When you click Activate, our system calculates all of the users who qualify for membership in this audience given the rules that you just created. To send those users to Twitter, simply choose the Twitter tile. And if it's your first time in the system, you'll need to link your Twitter account by clicking on the Add Account button. But here, we'll just select Real and Particle as our Twitter account. Once selected, there's a few more things I can configure about the subscription. One, I can begin to send data now or schedule it to start at a certain date. Two, I can make the subscription continuous or I can pick an end date. And three, I can choose how the users are matched to Twitter. I'll just accept the default and click complete. This creates an open and active connection between MParticle and Twitter. Finally, I log into my Twitter account and I can see that these audiences have been automatically created and are ready to use in Twitter campaigns. That's it. No longer do you need to manually pull CSV files and update them daily. Create the segment rules and in particle, activate the Twitter integration, and you're off and running in under three minutes.